is on. Okay. Um, we are just about ready. All right. Um, if if I could ask um, that you mute your phone um, while you're not presenting hotels um, agents, um, I have muted you all uh, for now. Um, we will have a 30 minute webinar. Um, at the end of the webinar, I'll open it up to Q and A. Q &A. Um, the Q and A will take place with. Uh, if, if I could ask the agents to please submit your questions in the chat box. Um, you can do that at any point during the webinar. Um, I'll just start reading with the, the first questions um, um, from top down. So, and we'll do that at the end of the presentation. So with that, thank you for taking the time today. We appreciate the opportunity to connect with you all. Um, I'd like to introduce you to the Americas uh, team. Uh, my name is Josh Hordquin. I'm the Senior Director of Sales for the Americas. Uh, my team consists of Julie Owens based in New York City. Lita Marino, based in uh, South, Southern Florida. Uh, Vanessa Johnson, based in Texas. And um, in the next coming months, we'll bring back Dominic Laddit, um, who is based in Brazil and works our South American market. Um, if there's anything any of us can do to assist you with any of our 540 hotels around the world, uh, please do reach out. And since I have a captive audience, I want to highlight um, the webinar series that we have created. Our goal here was to bring attention to more domestic properties that your clients might find more attractive with less travel required to visit. And as you can see on the right side, we're planning additional webinars to cover exciting international destinations. We will continue to um, add additional webinars um, and communicate those to you via email. Should you have any suggestions for a topic or if there's a particular region of the world uh, that you're most interested in, I'd love to hear from you. Please, um, please email me your feedback. SLH's GDS access code is LX for those of you that are not familiar. And if not already doing so, I'd like to encourage you to, encourage you to utilize our VIP desk. Uh, this team is spread across the globe, speaking over nine different languages collectively. Uh, they can obtain quotes, make reservations, handle VIP requests, and much more. Additionally, some of you have pointed out that our travel agent portal is down. We're updating the portal currently and hope to have this back up in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to our hotels for the U.S. Adventure uh, Ranches in Nature. Um, we have Castle Hot Springs, Arizona with Tina Newman, the Director of Sales and Marketing. Stein Eric Residence is in Utah with Guy Morris. Uh, Ra Ra Ranch in Colorado with Meg Dyer, and Trout Point Lodge in Nova Scotia with Pamela and Patrick Wallace. With that, I will ask Tina to share her screen and we'll get started with Castle Hot Springs. Keeping in mind that you have five minutes, Tina. <laughs> Hello, everyone, um, and thank you, Josh, so much, and thank you for um, putting this all together. My name is Tina Newman, I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing at Castle Hot Springs. Um, we are a fairly new property, even though it was originally established in um, 1896. Uh, we do have mineral rich hot springs, and this is just a brief little video that's going to give you an overview of the property. We opened um, this past October 7th for our first, what should have been our full first full season. Um, closed a little bit earlier, we would have been closed for the summer months anyways, and we're planned to reopen on September 3rd. Um, as you saw in the video, it's 1,100 acres. Uh, physical distancing is in our DNA and has always been in our DNA. We're only 30 guest rooms. Um, but we do also have our own farm, and the culinary experience is absolutely exquisite because it is um, sourced from the farm. And the farmers, flavor farmers, we like to call them, and our culinary team actually work together. All of the guest rooms are in separate buildings with their own individual H 
HVAC. Um, so we can definitely keep people distanced and, and we just big wide open spaces. So we don't have any um, worries about crowding in, it, in anywhere. We are an all inclusive property. It includes meals, snacks, classes, guided hikes, farm tours, um, and a num number of other um, experiences that are at the property. And um, we're only about an hour north of the Phoenix Sky Harbor. Going to switch over here. Um, there is a rich history in the property. Um, we have a lot of big names that had stayed there in the past, as you can see, the Rockefellers, the Pews, the Vanderbilts, and our claim to fame of John F. Kennedy spent some time to actually um, recoup after his U-boat accident. The property has been lovingly restored, um, where there used to be a main three-story building is now all separate spring bungalows. Um, and the and the point of the whole resort is our natural hot springs that actually emit out of the earth at 115 degrees. By the time they hit the first pool, they're at about 106 degrees, and then it cascades into three pools of 96 and 86 degrees that remains that way year round. Um, the water is potable. It is non-sulfuric so that there's no smell. And this particular pool is one that um, when we open up again in September, we're planning on doing paddleboard yoga in, which I can assure you there's not a better place. I was just up there. Um, our main swimming pool is also heated um, by the hot springs water. We have 12 spring bungalows. Again, these are, these are our, our top um, accommodations. They're all separate. Um, they're luxury appointed private swimming pools. Um, the sky views are our cabins, which are also set apart that these are um, individual ones. We have Nespresso machines in their board games, no televisions. Um, we're looking for you to go with um, nature. And in the accommodations, a really neat feature is the fact that we have outdoor private soaking tubs where you can have the hot water, the cold water, or the hot springs water. So you can bring the hot springs into the um, privacy of your own uh, room. We do have one three bedroom cottage that has one king, one queen, and two twins that can be great for a girlfriend's getaway or um, couples going. We do have a 16 year um, old minimum, so no children allowed at the property. Uh, as I mentioned, the culinary experience is exquisite. It's fed by the farm. We do make our own lithium lager, which we actually just started, um, the brewery that we work with just started canning it, and it's actually available in our local um, Whole Foods. Included are a number of activities on property. This is our bocce ball court, and you can see a pickleball court in the background. and. Um, in the bottom there, you can see an, uh, an expansion on our farm, which we have a great interactive um, farm tour experience. This is our lead agronomist and our, our head chef. And then we also do interactive cooking demonstrations where you actually pick your ingredients in the farm, and then the chefs help you prepare your meal if you would like. We have a greenhouse on property. Um, tomatoes never tasted so good and a huge amount of activities. The hiking is absolutely incredible. We have yoga and meditation classes, which we will be keeping um, uh, you know, spaced out. And from November to March, we do have horses on the property as well. There's um, spa services available, again, find, um, following all the guidelines um, with iSpa as well as um, the CDC. And brand Thank new you. this year, we're going to have a Via Ferrata, and I'll uh, I'll finish up there. We hope to see you all soon. Thank you, Tina. And just real quick, when are you reopening? Just to make sure that we answer that quickly for Sherry. Se se September 3rd. September 3rd. And are you generally going to be closed in the summer months, or was that uh, just this year? The, the plan is that we're going to be closed half of July and all of August. Awesome. So, okay. yeah, in the future, we'll stay open through uh, 4th of July weekend.
Thank you so much. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Guy Morris with Steinert Residences. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Josh, thank you for uh, establishing this opportunity. Uh, again, my name is Guy Morris. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for the Stein Collection. Um, just a little brief background um, on Stein Residences and where it, where it hails from. Uh, Stein Erickson Lodge is our, our flagship of our property. Um, is located a mile here from the Stein Residences. And the uh, Stein Erickson name began uh, in 1982 uh, when Deer Valley Resort was built in the town of Park City, Utah. To be, uh, Deer Valley was built to be uh, the world's uh, most luxurious ski resort, skiing only. And the developers, when they uh, built Deer Valley, they wanted to hire the most reputable uh, skier out there. And uh, that's why they named uh, the hotel Stein Erickson Lodge after a uh, former 1954 and 1952 gold medalist in the Olympics and World Cup. It'd be much like if you were going to build a tennis resort today, uh, or a, I should say maybe um, maybe like a basketball resort. You were going to name it after Michael Jordan. He was going to be your ambassador. And that's what they did with Stein Erickson. I uh, helped. He really helped skiing. Uh, to merge in the U.S. So, Guy, let me do this. Um, we, everyone wants to see you a little bit better. I need you to share your screen. And I do that by? Um, there's a little box uh, with an arrow up. Is that it? Not yet. Share my screen. Sorry to interrupt. We can, we, can see, we can see you. We're just not seeing your total screen. Yeah, if you if you hover over your picture, you should be able to um, find a little bubble that has the box and the arrow up. Just like that. My my box went away. There we go. That that helps. That's perfect. perfect. Great. So that way we can see behind you. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Anyway, so I'm speaking to you from the new Stein Erickson residences now. Uh, we're at 8,000 feet at the top of Deer Valley Ski Resort. And I hope the background shows you a little bit uh, but where we sit looking down at the town of Park City, Utah. Um, we are 45 minutes from the Salt Lake International Airport. And again, we reside at uh, 8,000 feet. The hotel, for all of its amenities, is uh, open uh, December 1st through the end of ski season, which this year would have been April 15th. And we, we go to limited services in the uh, spring, which would be right now, and then usually reopen June 1st with all the amenities again through the end of summer, which would be September 30th. And then we go to limited services in the uh, fall months of October, November, getting ready for the ski season. So as far as American Express uh, f and &R amenities, um, those are uh, offered in the winter and in the summer only. Um, because of the two shoulder seasons where we aren't, we don't have full amenities. Um, we've recently uh, been uh, discontinued in the FHNR program, so we won't be listed under there. But if you if the if you'll just make the recommendation at the time of booking, we'll still offer all FHNR amenities. Uh, the hotel again was opened three years ago. There were just 54 total units. I'm standing in what is just called our premium room. There's only of the 54 units, there are only 25. We are full. Your, okay, there we go. Now, um, uh, Guy, would you offer virtuoso amenities as well? And or virtuoso signature? amenities as well, year round. Perfect. Thank you for bringing that up. Will you be reopening this summer? So, we don't have a confirmed. Um, reopening date yet. I hope to know that by Friday of this week. Um, we anticipate, though, that will be July 1st going into the uh, July 4th weekend. Uh, back with full amenities. Uh, the hotel features um, a bar and restaurant serving three meals a day. Again, that's just during the summer and winter months. And then a spa as well, summer and winter months. Two of our key packages right now 
Uh, for this year, uh, for this summer, we have a called the resort activity package, which with a minimum of two night stays or more, there's a resort credit of $200 to be utilized however the guest wishes, whether on property or off property. And then for the winter ski season, I think the uh, most advantageous package to talk about is the uh, advanced winter purchase, uh, which is if you book um, between now and the end of October, there's a 35% off of uh, their uh, lodging uh, for their stay. Awesome, thank you so much, Mike. We really appreciate that. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Rob Al Ranch and we'll have, is it showing you? Meg display her her screen. Yes, there you are, Meg. Okay. We see you. Should be going. Um, hi. So I just want to thank uh, Josh for this opportunity. Um, my name is Meg. My husband and I are the ranch managers at Greenwall Ranch, and um, super excited to show you. Raywall and its abundance. Um, we're a small property. We can hold about 34 people. We have 10 cabins. And um, so it's a, it's a quite intimate uh, experience for everyone. Uh, it is all inclusive. Um, and um, it focuses on family and staff. You usually pretty much get one on one, especially with this um, COVID outbreak. Um, we do plan on having um, individuals going with you and you'd be assigned if you're going to go shooting, you'd have that one person with you. Um, but cabin amenities are, are wonderful. We have uh, king beds uh, in some. We have king with two twins. Uh, this is Mac Ward. It has a nice city seating area. Also a king with uh, two twins. And then this is the lodge. Uh, with a nice seating area no, as well. We're, we're not able to see, we're only able to see you, we're not seeing your screen. Oh, well, that's not enjoyable. All right. Let me see. Why? Let's see. Oh, darn it. How about that? It's, yeah, that's great. Sorry. Well, there you go. So there it is. Um, here's the ranch, and um, from the the um, sky, I guess you will. <laughs> and uh, so this is the outside of our cabins. Very rustic looking, but beautiful on the inside. Um, and then this is one of the king beds. And again, also no television. And uh, hoping that you will escape that and disconnect. Uh, motto is disconnect to reconnect with family, friends, um, and all of that. Again, this is the lodge. Uh, this is our um, eating area. So our goal is to get one family uh, at each table. We also have tables out on the porch, planning on having picnic tables um, out on the outside, uh, looking at the river. We do have two miles of private river and we'll take you fly fishing on that. And we also have some private lakes as well. Um, we have the, the mountain lakes, which is like a 10 mile uh, horseback ride, which is always fun. But um, this is our game room. And this is some of our, our kids programs as, as well. Um, we do have kids programs in the morning. And then we release those kids to you in the afternoon and hope that you can connect with them and um, again do we do have skeet shooting and uh, trap and um, knife throwing and things like that hatchet throwing um, okay. what is um, what's the closest airport sure so the closest airport is Denver International um, it takes about three hours so we are north of DIA um, and how, how far is that from Fort Collins? We're just about an hour west okay. of them, so it's it's a beautiful drive. You have about an hour on highway, and the rest is um, beautiful drive. And, and um, it's a is it a year round property? It is not. It is from June to the end of September. Uh, September is adults only, 
um, which is nice. Uh, we're going to do a bourbon week uh, this year. It's September 6th through the 12th. Um, and, um, and as we spoke about yesterday, Meg, you said this hotel could actually do a buyout and a total number of guests. Right, is 34. 34, great. Four guests. Um, um, do, yeah. do rates include activities? They do. So it's all inclusive. Um, the rate does include a half a day of fly fishing. If you want to do more fly fishing, um, we can add that. I believe it's $150 to do that. Um, okay. Five species of trout, and um, it's it's amazing. We do uh, we have all the gear, we have all the the uh, flies, and all of that. So just bring your little bodies out, and it's a lot of fun. Wildlife is always abundant. Um, that is what Raywa means is abundance. So um, we we feel pretty blessed. September, like I said, is um, all adults, and it's amazing. September is amazing. Great. Um, we have a few other questions for you, Meg, um, which I'll review at the end. So, um, for now, we're just going to go ahead and turn it over to Trout Point Lodge. If you could go ahead and share your screen, um, Mr. and Ms. Wallace. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Patrick here from Trout Point Lodge. Can you hear me all right? Sure can. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for the time. It's uh, Patrick and Pam here from Trout Point Lodge. Um, and for those of you who, who don't know us, we are Canada's uh, premier luxury wilderness resort um, set uh, on 125 acres of pristine forest uh, bordering on um, Atlantic Canada's largest uh, protected wilderness area. So we have a big vast backyard of 350,000 acres uh, in southwest Nova Scotia. Uh, so we're um, uh, wildly luxurious. And when we talk to guests or listen to guests about uh, their experience here, they um, we really come back to three things, um, and I'll go over them in a little bit of detail uh, one by one. First thing uh, is a really amazing wilderness experiences uh, where people get to experience the outdoors and, uh, and experience nature in a way that uh, in many cases they never have before. Uh, and uh, I always like to ask guests, uh, you know, how often in life are you really alone in the world with just your partner, or just your, your um, you know, your husband, wife, friend, whatever, um, is a, a very rare thing in life, uh, in our busy life these days. So um, uh, the amazing wilderness experiences that we offer uh, are really uh, one, one very uh, things um, that includes uh, activities like forest bathing, um, uh, guided and curated hikes, canoeing, kayaking, um, stand up paddle boarding, uh, which is amazing in the summer, which is equally amazing in the fall. Um, many of you probably don't know that we were uh, the first, uh, the world's first Starlight Hotel, um, uh, as designated by the Starlight Foundation, which is a UNESCO body, uh, and we're um, situated under some of the of North America. Um, so we have an astronomer on staff and some very advanced telescopic equipment uh, that uh, allows us to go out and bring the, uh, the skies and the heavens into, into view uh, in a way that most people have never seen before. This, this photo that you're looking at right now uh, was actually taken on our stargazing platform with our astronomer. Um, and this is, a, uh, this is a regular night out here on Trout Point Lodge when the weather cooperates. So um, the first thing is the, these really amazing wilderness experiences and outdoor experiences uh, that, uh, that many, in many cases, people are trying for the first time. Um, thing is uh, very luxurious accommodations uh, and uh, very unique, uh, unique setups inside the room. So we want you to experience nature, uh, get out in the wilderness. But when you come, uh, that you are uh, you are in your room with the uh, with all luxury amenities that you'd expect of a of a very high end place. So that includes uh, fret bedding and linens, uh, Luxitan uh, amenities everywhere. Um, all of the furniture in our in our um, twelve suites uh, is handmade, um, made from logs and wood that was. Um, that was cleared when the uh, when the lodge was built in 1999. Um, so no no two rooms are the same, no two pieces of furniture are the same, uh, and the luxurious accommodations. Uh, we want you to feel really pampered and well looked after uh, from an accommodation perspective. Um, Patrick, sorry to interrupt. Do you do you allow children? 
We have a 14 year, 14 year old and over policies, uh, except in the case of a buyout, uh, where we where we are more flexible in that uh, in that circumstance. Okay, great. And you have the 12 suites in total. We have 12 suites in. Yeah, we, um, we, we, what is your closest airport? For a while with and... Yeah, um, so the closest airport is Halifax International. Um, and that's a three hour drive down to the lodge and Halifax is, uh, is connected with direct flights to uh, Boston, New York, Newark, DC, uh, Chicago, um, and other places, uh, uh, Toronto and Montreal and uh, in Canada as well. Awesome. Thing to mention the the third of three uh, is really a focus on on what we call hyper local uh, fine dining. Um, our our um, our signature dinner uh, is a four course gourmet menu uh, that changes every single day. Uh, so if you stay here for for a couple of nights or a couple of weeks, you'll you'll never eat the same thing twice. Uh, and we follow the seasons. Um, so we we focus on hyper local fresh ingredients, uh, either from our own on site farms. Uh, or from uh, from our local suppliers in the uh, in the area, um, and every dish really tells a story. Um, our our menus and our, and our focus changes as we go from summer to fall. Um, we've also won the uh, the Wine Spectator Award of Excellence uh, for more than twelve years in a row. So uh, we want you to enjoy these amazing outdoor experiences, uh, come back into the lap of luxury, and eat very well all the while. Um, so those three points are sort of the things that uh, uh, that we consider quite unique within uh, within Atlantic Canada, um, all in uh, uh, set in a really pristine, amazing uh, environment. Um, I just wanted to take a uh, to, to talk a little bit about what we're doing in the in the COVID environment, um, as I mentioned, we uh, you know social distancing and spacing is uh, is uh, is something that uh, that comes naturally to us. Uh, we don't have elevators, we don't have places where people naturally congregate in, in great numbers, um, and because of the uncertainty this year, um, we are offering a, a flexible cancellation policies up to 24 hours in advance, um, just to deal with the uncertainty of COVID. Um, measures both for sanitation and other things uh, to keep our guests and our team safe uh, and extended opening specials. So we, we open up on the 29th of June, uh, a little later than usual, uh, and we close uh, at the end of October. So we have a, um, a very nice period of time in the summer when the, uh, uh, the short Canadian summer is really at its best uh, and amazing fall um, uh, experiences. And uh, uh, when you get out in, in, uh, in the fall colors here, it's, uh, it's really something, uh, something amazing to, uh, uh, to behold. So um, just I can imagine. Now, Patrick, if there are questions now or, or afterwards. Absolutely. So um, is, is Trout Point all inclusive? We're not all inclusive to all of the rates include Standard activities, um, but uh, dinner is uh, is a la carte, and uh, and incidentals are a la carte as well. Okay. Um, and when do you reopen again? If you could just let us know. Yeah. So we're now opening on the 29th of June, um, and running right through to the end of October to the 25th of October. Okay. Great. Um, any lake fishing nearby? Uh, we have lake fishing and trout fishing as well. Right Run on the banks of the Tuscan River, um, and we do offer half day and full day uh, guided fly fishing excursions, both on property and, and off property. Uh, and uh, there are a number of places where you can cast a line yourself as well, uh, uh, right from uh, right from our property also. Great. And are all the units king bed only? And if so, can a third person be accommodated on the roll of line? So, so we have one room with a king bed, we have a number of rooms with queen beds, and we also have a few rooms with double bed configurations, two double bed uh, configurations for families, friends, and things. Uh, we do also, uh, we can also offer, um, you know, sort of uh, extra people in the room if you'd like. So we, we, we're set up generally for uh, either couples or uh, with the king bed, the queen bed, or the two double bed configuration. And Patrick, um, two more questions. Um, one, do you have a pool? And two, are you expecting to allow U.S. residents in your reopening? I'll start with the uh, with the second question. Um, we normally 
uh, in a normal year, we have about half of our guests coming from the U.S. Um, so it's a very important piece of our of our business. And um, to the extent that the uh, the border is reopened, which is still the the unknown question at the moment, uh, we will certainly be allowing U.S. guests, and we're and we're very eager to do that. Um, so at the moment, I think the um, uh, the state the, the the state of affairs in uh, in Nova Scotia will stay this way until May 21st, uh, and there'll be a further announcement then. But as soon as we're legally able to do it, as soon as those borders open, uh, we will welcome our American guests in addition to our Canadian and international guests as well. And, and, um, and, and another question: We don't have a pool. Do have a pool. Yeah. We are right on. We're, uh, uh, sorry, Josh, just on the, we don't have a swimming pool, but we do have swimming in the Tuscat River right, uh, right in the back of the lodge. So, uh, natural swimming in the river is, uh, uh, is a highlight of, uh, uh, of, uh, of a stay here as well. Great, great. Um, and to everyone that has attended, I want to first thank you again. And in second, if you do have any questions for, for me or the hotels, um, please do type them into the chat. Um, I am attempting to record this uh, um, webinar so I can have for future reference. Um, I have a few more questions coming in. Um, does Rawa have a pool? Uh, we do not have a pool. Again, we also have the um, river that runs behind us. So um, people tend to get into that. Um, temperatures usually though are between 70 and 75 and evenings drop pretty low. So um, midday you want to jump in that, but other than that, uh, yeah. And before we lose everyone, um, uh, if each of you could maybe mention your, um, your rate uh, structure, just kind of give a, a low and a high uh, for peak and off peak time. Um, we'll start with you, Meg. So adults are 595 a night, uh, children um, 6 to 16 are 395, under 6 are free. Awesome. Um, Guy, would you like to, um, would you like to speak to your rating structure? We'll go to Patrick. Yeah, our our rates are um, in, in Canadian dollars between three ninety eight and five eighty eight per night, depending on suite, um, uh, and that roughly translates to about a forty percent difference in the U.S. dollars. So you're looking at about two ninety to around four hundred uh, room breakfast and uh, and activities included. Uh, Tina, uh, would you like to go through your rate structure? Yes, the rates range um, from eight hundred to sixteen hundred dollars a night. That is for two people, and that includes all meals, activities, gratuities, resort fee. The only thing it doesn't include is alcohol, and some of the um, adventures such as horseback riding or the Via Ferrata. Okay, great. All right. Well, I really again appreciate everyone for joining. Um, I hope you'll join us on uh, additional webinars that I have scheduled. If you have any questions, feedback, suggestions, criticisms, uh, please send me an email. And I hope to see you all soon. Please take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.